Hey, Jill. Never mind that. Finish up in the morning. I gotta close up. I'm almost finished, Nick. Hey, don't you hear what I say? I gotta close up. Do it tomorrow. Come on out. See you tomorrow, Nick. Let myself out the back. Then make yourself scared. Hey, let him in. Who's Nick, the owner? Don't look so worried. We're a family here. You gonna stand there where the whole world can see you? Sit down, join me for a drink. Let's make this quick, Bernie. What have you got? I got what I told you I have. Enough to put Johnny Marsalis away for years. And you get his territory on a platter. What's in it for me? Special prosecutor convicts reputed gangland king Johnny Marsalis. That ain't enough for you? He's an old man. You should be such an old man. You put him away, you're a made man. Yours wouldn't be the first career made with a conviction like that. And you get a pass. Hey, you win some, you lose some. You can't have everything, can you, handsome? I still have to put you on the stand. No problem. But what I tell you about Marcellus, I don't want it coming back to me, do you understand? You made the right move, Councilman. As soon as this is over, you announce your candidacy. You run for mayor, and my union will back you 100%. I can count on that. I get Mid-South, you get City Hall. Pleasant dreams, Council. We know our great cities by the splendor of their buildings, monuments to success, wealth and power, and the millions who live here. But this is part of the city too. A nameless kid, one of the countless children of the night. He found his final shelter here, where soon another monument to success will rise, and no one who works in these offices will ever know about the teenage boy who died in the muck of a sub-basement they'll never see. Hi, Tom. Okay, uh, if you check that out for me, George, thanks. 
Hey. Hey. Don't tell me. He fell down the hole? I'll tell you what I don't know. What are you writing? Screenplay. Well, somebody called you here. That's right. You should talk to him. Hmm? Kevin? They found these on him. Some matches and some pills. Pills? Yeah. I wonder if people are going to learn to stop messing with this stuff. I agree. But in this case, they were harmless. It looks more like a homicide. Well, that answers my question. Who tells you he wasn't stoned and fell in? Right now, 20 years of experience. He's all broken up, but not the way you get from a fall. You're saying he was killed somewhere else and dumped here. Well, you're the detective. Yeah. We'll get him back to the shop, go over him with a fine-tooth comb. I'll give you a call. OK, thanks. I can't tell you anything. I don't know anything. I suppose that's a screenplay you're writing. What the hell is this? You guys hire a press agent? Not me. It must be a slow news day. Kevin, Hamilton Lawrence, Kevin O'Brien. Lawrence, knew we'd run into each other sooner or later. It's my partner, Frank Jambone. Hi. Tom Kirkwood. Ah, yes. I enjoy your call. Well, uh, I take it your presence here means... Tommy, uh... Mr. Kirkwood is welcome to stay, Jim. I have no secrets from the press. My commission was set up to put an end to organized crime in the city once and for all, Detective O'Brien. I'm not interested in throwing a few punks in jail. What does this have to do with the dead kid they just carted away? <laughs> this pit they just carted him from belongs to Johnny Marsala. Mr. Lawrence's crime commission has an interest in Marcellus, Kevin. I get the message. No message, O'Brien. This investigation is yours. If it turns out that Marsalis is tied in with it, I want to see what you've got, that's all. We'll offer full cooperation, Mr. Lawrence. Well, you heard the man, Frank. Let's go talk to Mr. Marsalis. Mr. Lawrence, Mr. Lawrence, can we have a seminar? You know Lawrence. Bet that guy doesn't go to the bathroom without holding a press conference. What makes you think he goes to the bathroom? About in on you, John. Time to go. No, no, let him stay. Uh, this will only take a minute. Please. Thank you. Mm. She thinks I spoil him. Of course I spoil him. Have a seat. You too, kid. Want something to drink? No, I don't want anything to drink, John. I want a few answers. Oh, you want to know what kind of bird that is in the tree over there? I could tell you. I've been watching them all week. I want to find out why some guy got beat up downtown. I don't know. I stopped knowing the answer to that kind of question a long time ago. The kid was killed tonight. Found his body on your property. What's the matter with you coming here with stuff like this? You know? I don't know kids like that. I know kids like this. What'd you say your name was? I didn't say. It's Jambone. Detective Jambone. Well, I hope you find out who killed this kid, Detective Jambone. The body was found on your property, John. It wasn't very smart. I used to be smart. Now, not so smart anymore. I don't have to be. I play a little gin rummy with my grandchildren. I watch the birds. I call people and find out how a job is going, and I don't hurt kids. Just a harmless old man, huh? I didn't say that, kid. I've been around long enough to know what a setup smells like. You think I had anything to do with this till you find this guy on my property? Hey, O'Brien, you should know better than that. Hey, you figure out what kind of bird that is yet? Tell them. The blue jay. Great. What's a blue jay? It's a ball team. Let's play cards. I know I can get Marcellus. That man's name stands for organized crime in the city. <laughs> We've been trying since I drove a radio car. I just don't know how active he is anymore. Active? I'm developing information that'll tie him in with extortion, fraud, arson, now this homicide. I'd like to see your case reports on this. We don't have any problems with that, do we, Lieutenant? We're both in the same team. Give the man the guided tour. 
quite frankly, Mr. Lawrence, I don't know how much you'll find that's current. From what we gather, most of Marcellus' old rackets are being run by a guy named Bernie Engels. Maybe from some of the things you hear and some of the things I hear, we can put this guy away. Shall we start that tour, Miss Jeffers? Certainly. We have so many files on Marcellus that we won't even be able to see over the top of them. Well, then. What do you say? We divide them in parts, take some of them out, and look at them over dinner. On one condition. My name's Elaine. It would be too hard to remember. Counselor. Yeah. O'Brien, you talked to Marsalis? Oh, he just came from there. Get anything? An old man who didn't seem very worried. I guess he's got a lane's boat. It's hard to tell with a lane. Come on, Kevin. She was blowing. Blowing? Blowing. Believe me, I've seen that look. What, in your mirror? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was so late. Don't worry about it. We're keeping you, aren't we, Nikki? Mm-mm. And waiting for Kevin, anyway. You sure? Absolutely. Why don't I get you to another glass of wine? <sighs> sure, why not? Oh, well, that's why not. Looks like you just missed the last round. Oh, well, fancy well. clientele, huh? Only the best. Excuse me. Got your hair changed. You like it? Yeah, you look hot. You're late. Actually, we stopped off at a diner. You what? Quit trying to get me in trouble. We had a DOA, had some stuff on them about a diner, so we uh, went to the diner to check it out. Mm. Did you, uh, eat? No, it was closed. Oh, too bad. So am I. Get the lights on your way out, will you, Lane? We're going. We're going. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, do you think you could give me a lift home? Uh, we left our car back at the station house. Frank, your car's outside. No, no, we took a cab. Not tonight, Frank. Hamilton and I still... Actually, I think that would be best. But I thought that... I'll give you a call in the morning. We'll get together over lunch. Good night. Good night. Did anyone ever tell you that you have a big mouth? Yeah, my dentist. The kid was at the diner. It was close when they got there tonight, but they'll be back. What are you worried about? Nick's like a wall. Look, maybe you're used to this kind of stuff. I'd better talk to them, tell them. Tell them what? Why you didn't report it when it happened? It was an accident. It was. You know something. what it was, Mars. You're in it up to your ears. Hey, the kid's dead. It's too bad. We're gonna kill the deal because of an accident. Come on, counselor. I do for you. You ever seen this kid before? Nah. We think he might have been in here in the last couple of days. I told you, I ain't seen him. You mind if we ask her? Hey, we get kids like that in here all the time. I pay my people to shove food at them, not start up relationships. Well, no one has to shove food at this kid. He's dead. Miss uh, police officer, can you tell me you ever seen this kid before? Don't ring any bells. Not much to look at, kind of scrawny. Anybody else work here or might have seen him? Jillian, maybe. Doubt it. I'm talking to the lady. You were saying? Nothing, I guess. We were saying something about Jillian. She works nights. 
should have been here hours ago. So I'm stuck here since breakfast. Did she call in? Who the hell called in? She doesn't show, she doesn't show. What did you say this Jillian's last name was? Kavanaugh. But you ain't gonna find her. She's from out of town. One of those runaways. What? She told you her life story. Now, this Jillian comes yeah. in here. I'll tell her you wanna talk to her. You see her first, tell her she don't have a job no more. Okay, that's very uh, sweet of you. Keep in touch. When are you gonna learn to keep your damn mouth shut? All I said. You wanna was... keep working here? You mind your own business. Interesting day over at the Lawrence Commission hearings. Wanna hear about it? I can. I can help it. Had Bernie Angles on the stand. And? No, and. Break them over the coals pretty good. And they didn't get anything out of them, right? What is it with you, Kevin? You're always complaining that the police are up against the whole world. Here is someone trying to help, and you act like he's stealing your job. Oh, no. I'm just not into politics, that's all. That waitress definitely knew what she was talking about. Jillian Cavanaugh was reported missing 18 months ago. Jillian Cavanaugh? Yeah, you know her? Don't you ever read those things? What does it say there? You worked on this. <laughs> that is why my name is there. When I was in children's court, her mother reported her missing. They're from somewhere out of town. Her mother was here for a couple of months looking for her. It's about two years ago. Do you have a line on her? The DOA in the uh, diner we told you about. Turns out she worked there. Where is she? She didn't show up for work today. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Well, we ought to get in touch with her mother. Maybe she's got a line on her. After two years? Well, she might have found her daughter. There may be pen pals again for all we know. I guess. I just hate to get her hopes up if. I'll give her a call. Yummies for the for the keen kind of connoisseur. This you know is what I'm cheese saying? omelet mix in a oh, pack. Wonderful. This is freeze dried that. instant beef stew. Listen, man, if anybody's stupid enough to buy this slop, you're gonna be in big trouble. Do you know oh, that? Oh, Jambo, and I have you know I've been eating this stuff for weeks. Okay, take a look. I yeah, rest my case. All right. You ever seen this little lady? Yeah. She's a popular girl. Yeah. We have to guess. You're gonna tell us what that means. Oh, Jambo, and what it means is there's a lot of people paying good money to. Uh, you know, get a hold of her and her boyfriend. What people? People, man, just people, you know? Not nice people, but people. All right, you got any clues about uh, where this girl and her boyfriend might be? And they're street people, man. I uh, I don't know. I mean, they could be here, they could be there. The last time I saw them was on uh, 12th Street. Good. Why you go over to 12th Street, see if you can see them again? Yeah, right, O'Brien. Like, I got a business going here, What's man. Carlos, how about a loan? I'm not asking for a handout. It's just, just 
some that tie me over. Tie the wind out, kid. Come on, man. You know me. I'm, I'm good for it. Why don't you go see Angelo? Maybe your credit rating is better with him. No, I couldn't find Angelo. You found him. He wouldn't give you nothing. Come on, man. Look, I'm walking that way. You walk some other way, or you ain't gonna be walking anywhere. Come back when you've got some cash, huh? seen you at the restaurant, how come? Hey, you got a bad kid. I got something for you, might help. So, where's Jillian? I wanted to talk to her. Where's Jillian? She'll be back here. She come when back. will she be here, Toby? She just went out, I don't know. Relax and wait for her. Help yourself. Yes, Colette for Mrs. Madeline Cavanaugh. Miss Gillian. Mrs. Madeline Cavanaugh. I'm not in right now. If you wish to leave a message, please do so after the tone. Is Elaine Jeffers, please. Mrs. Kavanaugh. Hello, Miss Jeffers. Have you found her? Sorry, no, not yet. But please, come with me. There are some people you should talk to. Uh, sometimes she just lets the machine answer. Can you just say it's Julian? Jillian's mother. Oh, Mrs. Cavanaugh. I'm Kevin O'Brien. This is my partner, Frank Jambo. Hi. Thanks for coming down. I know, I know that you haven't found her, but you must know something. Uh, Thank you. Your daughter's been working in a diner. You know, we talked to the owner. And she's all right? We don't know that, Miss Cavanaugh. We, uh... We don't know where she is, matter of fact. I'm sorry. You said that you talked to the owner. I don't want to upset you. There's been an incident, a uh, possible homicide. Oh, my God. No, no, it wasn't Jillian. It wasn't at the diner. It was a boy. Perhaps she knew him. Could this have been one of your daughter's friends, Mrs. Kavanaugh? They killed her, too. You have no reason to believe that. Miss Kavanaugh, she may be frightened and she may be hiding. And she may be dead. Look, if there's anything you could tell us that could... Where, where would she go? When you called me, when you said that you knew something about Jillian... And we're doing everything we can, Mrs. Cavanaugh. Kevin. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you something that would help. Her father left me when he left us when Jillian was only ten years old. I had to support her. Support the two of us. Could she have gone back to her father? There was no record of where he went, Frank. We tried to find him. Maybe I left her alone too much. I don't know. I, her relationship was never the same after he left. I think that she felt neglected and confused. And I guess I just wasn't enough help. You can't blame yourself. Elaine, you're not married, are you? You don't have any children. And you don't know. You've got to blame yourself. Who else can you blame? I'll give you all of 
O'Brien, Mid South. O'Brien, listen, I just saw that girl you're looking for, man. She just walked right by me. Where are you? I'm right where you told me to be, on the corner. All right, stay with her. No, no, no. Hey, wait, wait a minute. Hey, I can't go after her, man. I got my own thing to do. O'Brien! O'Brien! All right, all right. All right. Someone just saw Jillian over on 12th Street. God, they found her. I gotta go with them. We'll pick you. Come on. It's just another night of wonder in the city. West on four. No sign of either. All right, we'll go east. Working out just swell, man. Hey, there he is. Whitey. Yeah. the corner. She's wearing a brown suede jacket. She's got brown hair. Okay. Thanks a lot. You're out here alone. Jacket brown hair, bingo. Got her on Daly. Just one in the house. Daly and uh, just west of Fort. All right, we'll meet you there. M.E. says the stuff the kid OD'd on was laced with strychnine. Same stuff he was about to give the girl. What's it all about? I mean, we don't have one good idea on this thing. Well, I bet you Kevin and Frank will get some nice ideas in there. Well, they better come up with something. Nick Spetzos, a.k.a. Nick Spence, a.k.a. The Enforcer. A few other picturesque titles. How long are we gonna keep going over this? Who cares? You're gonna be here, you're gonna be downtown, you ain't going nowhere, Nick. So I'll write my memoirs. Maybe you can read about it then. Hey, maybe I won't want to wait! Are you dumb enough to take the fall for this all by yourself, Nick? Get this guy out of my face, O'Brien. Sit down, Frank. Come here. Have a seat. Right? You can start with the kid in the room and house. Rooming house. Yeah, rooming house. You heard him. Oh, him, yeah. See, I'm walking down the hall and the door's open. I seen this kid lying there. The girl's there, too. Hey, I was just about to call him. And what was it that you were doing in this rooming house, Nick? I got an aunt. She lives there. Does this aunt have a name? No, as a matter of fact, she don't. Have fun with him, Frank. Hey, you. Counselor, anything? What do you think? That's what I thought. Join me in the office? Yeah, all right. 
Maybe after he talks to his lawyer, he'll get a little more reality in him. What reality he'll do all the time you can give him standing on one foot. Got a point, Kevin. Well, this isn't one of those plea bargaining raps he's gotten used to. We got this guy nailed, Jim, for homicide in the rooming house, for assaulting the girl. And if we dig around a little bit, we should be able to tie him into the kid we found at the construction site. You make it sound easy. He was standing over the body. Do you have any objection if I talk to him? We try and tie this into Marsalis? Nick Spetsos doesn't make up this kind of thing on his own, Kevin. Look, we got this guy. We don't have to make any deals. Look, I want the man behind this. If that means being nice to some dime a dozen trigger man, then that's okay with me. We all kind of operate the same way, don't we, O'Brien? I don't worry about how I operate, Lawrence. Oh, come on, get off your high horse. You cops are always in too much of a hurry to close out a case with any kind of evidence you can get. We don't make the convictions. The courts and judges make the convictions. Look, I'm trying to get somewhere with these gangsters, and I've got a mandate to do whatever that takes. Well, you're not making too many friends around here when you talk like that. All right. All right, I'm sorry. I know you guys have a tough job. I do, too. Sometimes I forget it's the same job. All right. Go ahead and talk to him. But don't offer him any deals. I'm not going to make any trouble. I just want to play detective for a little while. What do I look like, a car salesman? I don't make deals, you hump. You haven't told me. Your lieutenant said it would be all right if I talked with your prisoner. Yeah, he's all yours. Mr. Spetsos, my name is Hamilton Lawrence. I'm heading a commission looking into... I know what you're looking into. You want to know what they're going to be looking into? I just want to let you know that my office... In your office. Yeah. This is going to be your office. You don't get this taken care of. Now what? Damn it, Ingles. They're gonna bring that girl down to the station. She could ID you. She could ID both of us, old boy. Don't forget that. I'm not forgetting anything. My whole career is on the line here. It's a whole lot more than your career, man. They put me away. You're going, too. How the hell did I ever... How's not important anymore, Mr. Lawrence. The point is, you're in it. It was an accident. I didn't know you were gonna kill the boy. Hey, don't explain it to me, Mr. Lawrence. Explain it to them if you think you can. You know I can't do that. What the hell are we gonna do? I'm not gonna do nothing. What are you gonna do? You're insane. You think I'm gonna kill a kid? It's your funeral, babe. Maybe it'll make us cellmates. As soon as you get used to my snoring, we'll have some good times. Absolutely amazing what you can learn if you do enough reading. Did a little cross-checking on old Nicky Spetzos. One name kept popping up over and over again. Bernie Engels. I knew there had to be a connection. Oh, yeah, Nicky and Bernie go back a long, long way. You know that assault that he did time on? It's one of Bernie's girlfriends. And the arson rap? Another one of Bernie's jobs. As a matter of fact, I checked into the ownership of Nicky's diner. You'll never guess who's a full partner. Bernie Engels. Did it again. We always take so long, that's why. Jillian, anyone familiar on that page? He was one of them. Are you sure? Damn sure. He's the one that was ordering Nick around. Well, well, well. That should be enough for a warrant. What do you think? Manslaughter, for starters, and then we'll take it from there. Pick him up. Go Better tidy up, Nick. Company coming. 
I think we'd better put him somewhere safe. I'll send a man over just to make sure. Why, well, is that necessary? You've got your killer. Isn't it all over? Well, it is, but uh, ounce of prevention. It's OK. I'll come over later, and we'll grab a bite. Elena, I don't know how I can ever thank you. You can buy dinner. <laughs> Brian, is this a social call, or do you guys want to join the union? Your arrest, Bernie. You never quit, do you, O'Brien? We picked up Nick Spetsos. Is that supposed to mean something? It should. How many other people you got killing kids for you? Is this a gag or what? I got two dead kids who don't think it's a gag. I don't know nothing about any kids, O'Brien. It's some kind of mistake. Mistake, huh? There's a mistake, creep. You made it. You like jewelry, huh? Look what I got for you. Nice shiny bracelet. I'll say never give you nothing, okay? Let's go. I got trial number 1406, 154. Andy Luck? Yeah, Julian Cavanaugh made Engels as one of the guys she saw at the diner. We got a positive ID. What? Kevin and Frank are on the way back with him. You can't be serious. Come on, now. It was Kevin that told you it was Engels. Give the man some credit, Lawrence. Don't you understand? I did everything but spell it out for you. Engels is cooperating. He's my main source. You're jeopardizing my whole case against Marcellus. Okay, well, let me spell it out for you. I don't give a damn about your case, Lawrence. I don't give a damn about the big picture of organized crime. Not when I got two homicides looking at me in the face. Now, I don't make trades like that. I never have, and I'm not going to start now. 1054, Cardiac, Of course. You're right, the homicide has priority. If there's any way I can help. That's OK. I think uh, we've got things under control. So you do. You know that all my files and angles are open to you. You might find them useful. I appreciate that. And you're sure this girl's a reliable witness that she'll be able to stand up? I hope so. Ingalls has friends. She ought to be in some kind of protective custody. Uh, it's all taken care of. We got her statue at the Edgewater. All right, ready. Nice work, O'Brien. Want to open it up for us? All right, let me see these. You can stop coming. You won't get all the bugs out of there anyway. Come on. Right. Let's go. Come Welcome on. to the Great Bar Hotel. It's like old home week. Come on. Anyone out there you recognize? Huh? Sit down. Sit down. I said, anyone out there you recognize? I wasn't paying too much attention. Nice try, Nick. I gotta hand it to you. Real stand-up kind of guy. Huh? You don't have anyone to stand up for anymore, though. That's the breaks, I guess. Nick, don't be stupid. We already got your boss. What boss? I don't have any boss. I run my own place. He owns it. He owns you. Who are you kidding here, Nick? I don't have nothing to say. Well, then why don't you listen? Tell me if you get bored. Can't you lock up? You go out, right? And then you come back with Bernie. Hmm? What the hell? the hell is this all about? Yeah. Bernie wants some coffee and some ouzo. And then there is a knock at the door. You still think we're bluffing here, Nick? So you go and answer the door. Guy comes in. Bernie sits down with him, and they talk a little. How am I doing, Nick? See, we got Bernie. We don't need you for that. It's the other guy we want to know about. Nick, it's you or him. Who's it going to be? He's nothing to me. It's your pal out there, Hamilton Lawrence. Pretty cute, huh? One of your own. Lawrence. See where Lawrence went? Huh? Lawrence? Where in the hell did he go? Well, he left a few minutes ago. Yeah. Did he find out where Jillian was staying? I told him why. If that bastard knows where she's staying, she's in a lot of trouble. Frank. Come on, Frank, let's roll. Mm. 
Joe. Joe, want to join us? Oh, no, thanks. I had Chinese for breakfast. Ooh. If he doesn't join us, we're in big trouble. I ordered enough for ten, so you two had better be hungry. Well, I am. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jane? A shimmer. Just like my old college days. Chinese takeout with the girls. <laughs> It's okay, ladies. Take it easy. Yeah? Alton Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence. How's it going? Fine, Joe. And how about you? Getting cabin fever yet? <laughs> what are you doing here, Hamilton? Come on in. Don't mind if I do. If you want to take a break, Joe, go right ahead. I'll be here for a while. Well, I don't know if these pretty ladies will be safe with you, Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> Sure, go get a pizza. You had pizza for lunch. Yeah, well, I guess that leaves burgers. You won't leave till I get back. Of course not. Madeline, Jillian, this is Hamilton Lawrence, the special prosecutor. How do you do? Wait. There's lots of food. <laughs> Lemon chicken. How would you guess? <laughs> In a minute. Julian, it's Elaine. Julian, what's wrong? It's him. It's the man. What man? The one in the diner. The one the other man is meeting. Who is? That man up there. It can't be. Are you sure? Are you absolutely positive? Is she okay? Of course. Out of tissues. The great city is built by gamblers. The risks are high, but so are the payoffs. Money, success, power. We think of it as a ruthless game, but there are rules. Hamilton Lawrence tried to fix the deck. Sometimes justice doesn't take long at all. 
I guess it depends on how you measure the time. I tell you, figured where we all figured. Hell of a job, isn't it? We make a guy into a hero, and that sells papers. Then it turns out he's not a hero, and that sells even more.